Welcome back to Bintel Space News. In today's video, we're going to talk about why it's so hard to get back to the moon. I mean, we've already been there once, right? Surely it should be easier to get back after learning how to get there in the first place. In 1969, July 20th, NASA managed to put somebody on the moon. This was an amazing achievement and was watched all around the world and the famous words were spoken. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. They landed humans on the moon a total of six times at a cost of $257 billion. This number is correct with the uh, 2020 inflation rate. God knows what it would be now. During the six missions, 12 astronauts visited the moon. They studied the landscape, collected moon rocks and samples, and safely brought them back to Earth to be studied. The collected rocks are similar to what we have on Earth, so nothing special to report on there. However... Why haven't we gone back in so long, and why are we going back now? It's mainly the cost. The moon isn't of big significance, so why spend another $200 billion with no real objective or return on investment? More recently, an element called helium-3 was discovered to be able to be used as a clean energy. Helium-3 has the potential to be a limitless clean energy, and guess what? The moon's full of it. Naturally, human instinct takes over, and we must conquer this quest. NASA plans to set up a moon base and use Helium-3 to further space exploration and even get to Mars. Helium-3 is used in a process called nuclear fusion that combines helium with a substance called deuterium. When the two are combined, energy is produced and no harmful waste is created. Helium-3 and deuterium are both positively charged atoms. When you try pushing two sides of the same magnet together, they push back against one another. With enough pressure, you can overcome this problem and the two atoms fuse together. When they are fused together, you heat them up and the single atom releases energy that's stored inside. This process is called nuclear fusion. It will cost NASA anywhere from $25 to $30 billion per trip to the moon. This is, this is significantly less than the $250 to $300 billion price tag stated earlier in the video. This is because technology has advanced at a rapid rate and it's said that the average smartphone has more processing power than the original computers that got us to the moon in the first place. NASA's new rocket, Artemis 1, is the most powerful rocket ever made using liquid hydrogen as fuel. Liquid hydrogen is so light and it can escape through the smallest of gaps. The fuel tank needs to be 100% airtight, otherwise you have a fuel leak. This is why the Artemis 1 launches were frequently called off on the first launch. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something today and if you did, drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more space news. See you in the next video.